your flag. All right, you two. Yes, sir. We got a different type of tutorial today. All right, I'm finna teach y'all how to apply these enhancements right now. I'm gonna try my hardest to get y'all to apply it the right way. All right. So me, I like to spray mine um, directly on. A lot of people like to spray at an angle, but um, like I feel like I, I blend it in better uh, spraying it directly on with the using the Sean Couture clutch card. Okay, but me i make sure i try to blend it in with the hair so i will hit the hairline part after i hit it ever so slightly i make sure it blends in with the rest of the hair so um certain spots are lighter due to that being his natural lineup but you can see right now i'm spraying it and blending it in with the rest of the hair okay a lot of people try to apply enhancements they either spray way too much or not enough okay right now i'm trying to get that corner sharp because the corner was already sharp okay that's your number one step when doing enhancements the cut has to be clean before you use enhancements okay if you've seen it i don't know if y'all did but you should have okay the cut the lineup everything was clean without enhancements all this is going to do is take it to the next level give it that extra crispy look okay and um make the cut last a little longer okay so he, you can see he had like lighter areas in both corners so what i did is fill those in okay um but the the cut was crispy everything was crispy natural you know what i'm saying we did have to do we did have to get a little cosmetic in the front though but my client is aware of this and this is um how he wants to cut this how he gets this how he gets to cut every time he comes to me right now Ever since he's been coming to me, so we're not gonna change nothing up, okay? All right, but right now I'm just blending everything in, um, trying to empty the bottle, <laughs> empty the, the little thing on top of the gun. So, yeah, I spray it in where I need it to be sprayed in, make sure that it's blended into the hair. You don't want to spray too much, okay? If you spray too much, it's gonna look a lot, it's gonna look real fake, okay? You don't want it to look super fake. 
Alright I let I barely enhanced those um the C cups I did the vertical bar and then that arch basically like the box and then the C cup I kind of left natural that's really how you get it to look like it's not enhanced for the most part like from this angle you can tell I left that C cup alone but I did enhance the box and I did enhance the front that gives it a more natural look so if you ever if you guys ever use enhancements leave the, the C cup natural okay leave it just leave it alone you know enhance the box enhance the vertical bar and enhance the front okay sometimes depending on how dense the hair is you can enhance only the light spots in the hairline and leave the dark like if the middle is dark you can leave that dark and then you know enhance the light spots but yeah hopefully this is this is like this is as like as much as I can explain it. I'm I'm losing my words right now. <laughs> I'm losing my words. But listen, I'm trying to explain to y'all how we do it. After I apply the enhancements, I always like to detail my work after just to make sure that the blend goes within with the enhancements. Cause the blend was already cool natural, you know. But when you spray enhancements, it could throw you off. It could throw the taper off a little bit. Okay, so y'all see where we had to get cosmetic. Ah, I cannot talk. Okay, it's like three in the morning, but it's cool. But y'all see where we had to get cosmetic at. Okay, I'm used to just using the razor and trying to get that part bald so it can last a little bit longer than it would. Okay. So yeah, it's just little things like this that um clients appreciate that have tough hairlines, okay? But y'all can see man the taper is clean, yeah. I can't wait to show y'all at the end. I did post a reel of this cut on my instagram if y'all don't follow me there follow me at wavy k underscore kev but this cut did end up coming out super 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 clean okay so just make sure y'all got like a powerful um a powerful uh air compressor the clutch card and make sure you just blend the enhancements in with the hair and you should get a good product okay from this angle right here this cut is clean okay got a couple 90 degree angles just cleaning up the skin at this point you know what i'm saying tightening up those lines just getting this cut as clean as possible for this tutorial okay but y'all seen it y'all seen the beginning y'all can't say it was not crispy before the enhancements and you're now y'all looking at after all right y'all can see that enhancements is blended in but you can barely tell it's there unless you sat there and watched me do it each angle the cut is fire the taper is fire the lining is fire all the enhancement did is take it to the next level that's what enhancements are for i can see the lining is straight okay nice and crispy got my boy in the game yes sir y'all see the back taper is blurry man we got this cut, we got this cut, this cut is fire, alright, this cut is fire, y'all see the 90 degree angle, alright, but yeah, it's your boy Kit Kev, man, if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if it helped you, I'm out, deuces.